What's going on, guys? This is Declaration. Uh, got Brian. What's up, peeps? We're back on the Factory Five Thirty Five Hot Rod Truck. But um, some of you may notice there's something new in the garage here. Yep. Had to break down and get a nice little drill press right here. Um, so today we're going to be working on hinges and drilling through these beautiful hinges that we have. Um, yeah, this is going to be fun. So you, you guys are going to get to watch me try to figure out how to work the drill press and then actually drill some stuff. I think between Brian and I will figure this out. But yeah. Oh, Brian, want to show him your, your like magic estimation that was like beautiful? <laughs> so this is our own fault, I guess, because when we were looking at doing the doors, like it said like page 314. So we didn't look like at page 300 is when they start for the assembly of the hinges. So we kind of estimate on this length for this hinge. Go ahead and put the little estimation piece on. We guessed absolutely perfect. Well, Brian guessed absolutely perfect on the the length of the hinge of what it should be. I'm lucky I have a Brian. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need to get yourself a Brian. <laughs> he just he works for food and beer and hangout yep. time. Yeah, food, food and beer and get out of the house time. I'm lucky. I say. All right, <laughs> catch you guys, and we're gonna learn how to play with this toy. All right, welcome back guys. So, one hole. Now, uh, it's gonna look like a matter of seconds in the time lapse, but that was 10 minutes for the first hole. We're gonna be here a while. But I will say that this, this is nice. So, uh, oh yeah, um, Heath, you actually, uh, was it Heath? Yes, you asked about the uh, what brand I went. I went with Win. I I have their bench grinder and I've haven't had any issues with it. And this was like eighty five bucks on Amazon, so I can't complain. If it sucked, yeah, it was only eighty five bucks, but it's pretty stout actually. Um, and because of the thickness of the steel and everything, it, it's adjustable gear, so it's five speeds. So this is on the set to the slowest speed currently. Um, but yeah, those are my options for speeds right there. So that's, that's kind of cool. And it even tells you a little handy chart like, hey, for the thicker the materials, use the slower speeds. But yeah, so um, we'll catch you guys back. We're going to continue to drill more holes through this adamantium, apparently, because that's what this thing looks like it's made out of. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. guys we had to take a quick interlude to go grab good drill bits because I just had really really shitty drill bits and as it turns out that last hole took us like what less than like 30 seconds to go through so when you get good drill bits for your drill press looks really good 
And you can tell like we started this hole with the other drill bit and it was like putting a lot of heat in it. This one right here, this hole just smoothly cut straight through, no problem. Yeah, the other drill bit, it went dull in two and a half holes. So yeah, get good drill bits. And yeah, that was beautiful. All right, um, so what do we gotta do next? Countersink. countersink. So we're gonna countersink some holes and then, then we can get back on actually doing the doors. This has been all of this just to get the hinges. <sighs> all right, welcome back guys. So <laughs> you're gonna laugh. How many hours have we been working at this? A couple. A couple, yeah. I mean, we did have to go do a uh, Lowe's run, so there is that. But we are half, well, we're three quarters away done. So all that time was to drill two holes in this steel. Like this stuff is like tough stuff and countersink it. But we got some countersink bits and we just have to do the countersink on the, the other hinge. And then we'll actually be done with nope. one half. Yeah, one half. We'll be done with the... With the, the female end of the female yeah, half. Yeah, we'll be done with the inner, the door side, not even the uh, body side. It's even better with drilling holes in this stuff. We have to drill holes and then tap the holes in the male side. Oh, um, yeah, we got to tap this which one. Which is going to be great. So we have to drill and tap. Oh, boy. This is probably the longest episode or longest video in existence of drilling for holes. <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm, I'm getting it. Like, we haven't even tried to fit the doors yet, and we're like, what, four days of work in on it? Yeah, pretty three, much. Three, four days. Brian, what do you have to say to the people? Never a dull moment with this thing. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get back to work, guys. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Next day, Brian and I. What's up, peeps? Back on the this. <laughs> How many days have we been working on this, and we haven't even tried to put it on this? Well, this. A lot of machinations in this. Yeah, that's, that, that's a lot. <laughs> but, See, if we, if we use my plan B, we could just glue the doors on the side and crawl through the window like General Lee. We'll just set the, the power windows up on a key fob so you push a button, the windows roll down, and you just jump right in there. I mean, Masha's tiny. She could slide right in there and wouldn't even notice. Yeah, Masha's tiny. <laughs> We're not. <laughs> <laughs> Might have changed the paint job a little bit. <laughs> oh boy, but yeah. So yeah, we're we're working on this. Um, yeah, Brian's making the template, and I'm gonna have to change this bit on this uh, drill, and we're gonna make some more holes. Yay! Welcome back, guys. So. We finally have the hinges drilled, cut, countersunk, and tapped for one door. One door? <laughs> one door. But I will say this has gone a lot quicker with this drill press. Uh, you like it, Brian? Yeah, we'd still be standing over there next to the Device with broken drill bits trying to drill this out by hand so yeah <laughs> especially actually we probably would have burned up his drill by now yeah we probably killed the motor in the drill like honestly trying to cut through this but that drill press man thing things that's champion especially when you got the cobalt drill bits i think each hole takes like less than like 30 seconds just cuts right through um yeah so we're going to catch you guys tomorrow. Brian's got to go to work. 
we had to take time to go buy more drill bits because of we didn't have the exact 1764th. Make sure you have a 1764th cobalt drill bit for these because you need to tap these ones. And Rob in the comment section, he, we, me and him had a nice little conversation today and some of the people actually tapped these. We had already had these drills drilled out before we um, had this conversation. So Brian and I are gonna have a little bit more fun. But for you guys, apparently it helps to drill these at 1764 and tap these ones as well. Just saying. Always something. Always something. But yeah, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys. Got Brian back again Still tonight. Peace. So, we just finished putting the bolts back in the body because we had to move it up and down when we were messing with the tailgate and stuff like that. So we got that bolted on because you want to make sure the body doesn't flex and move when you're trying to align the doors. Because, what are we working on right now? Uh, pretending we want to actually put the doors on. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I was know. thinking just some, we get some of that bracing mesh, stick it up there. My other idea again, I think we talked about that last night. Just glue the doors on, leave the windows out, and you just jump in at General Lee style. <laughs> we so could do that. Make the openings a little bit bigger because some you of us have a few more, yeah. a few more inches around there. This guy right here, oh. <laughs> he needs to make it in there. <laughs> um, I mean, I did hear, um, thank you, shout out to Rob again. Um, oh, by the way, Rob, we're gonna shout you out on the video as well. I, I know I just texted you, but Brian and I just watched the video you made for us. Brian, thoughts? Freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Really do appreciate that. Like, that was amazing. That literally showed a lot of things that we we're about to do right now. And you, you already thought of things, uh, solutions that we didn't have to figure out. So thank you so much. I really do appreciate you, Rob. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get to work. Welcome back guys. Brian? What's going on peeps? So what you guys saw, we did a bunch of little time lapse, but we got the side hinges on this, make them so they, they move around and adjustable. So to put the little nut plate on the back of these, we had to take a magnetic extension. Brian had to come in from this angle and I had to sit here and try and thread it through the nuts. Kind of a pain, kind of a major pain. Then, let's show them the fun part. <laughs> so. Your and mine ideas of fun are completely different. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Brian. This is a lot of fun. As in saying every four letter word in the dictionary fun. But yes, so these plates back here, you got your light on you? Oh, yeah. So these plates are here. You wanna make sure you put these plates in before you put the body in. We, um, we talked about that when we did on the body video, but these plates allow for adjustment right here, which allows for door adjustment, slides in and out. So instructions baffled us for a little bit. So when we did the, um, 
the drilling through these metal plates, the first, um, only the top hinge and the outer hole. So this top hole right here, when you're looking at it like this, is the one that's threaded. Everything else gets drilled with a 5 16th. And we use the carriage bolts and that's how you do your adjustment. And same on the bottom. But I have the carriage bolts, but somehow I have no idea where the nuts are. So I am going to have to um, buy some nuts. So we're about done for today. Um, Brian has to go to work anyway, so. Yay, work. Ugh. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna go get some nuts later because it's already past all those box stores are closed. But yeah, slowly but sure we're really gonna get this damn door attached. <laughs> Cargo nets. <laughs> no, Brian. I actually want the door on there. I can make you a net out of tape. Tape across there. Basket weave. <laughs> no, I've already got people fucking breaking into my cars here. Apparently. Oh, yeah, kind of. Someone's broke into the, um, the show. Sad day. We'll talk about that later. But, yeah, we'll catch you guys next video. Oh, wait. No. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm getting tired. These doors are frustrating, and we haven't even tried to attach it to the body yet, and it's already been a hassle and a half. Had to buy that just for this. I'm not mad. Are you mad, Brian? All right, so we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. It's just me today. Brian has some issues at his apartment, so we're handling uh, it's just me solo today. Um, but did a little progress i didn't film this but literally all i did was i got some nuts so i put the plates in and i actually tossed the door in now it's not sitting flush or anything it's literally just being taped in but what i'm doing it right now is figuring out the alignment and where exactly i need to sand to make sure that my gaps are really really good so um, I'm, what I'm probably going to do is snug up some of the things that are really, really loose um, because I kind of pushed it in and I'm thinking these lines, like this is pretty much where I'm, the lines I'm trying to make sure they're um, nice and even um, going across the side. This body line and this going across and I've got it pretty much. Shit. <laughs> I had it pretty much. <laughs> lined up let me use some stronger tape probably use some duct tape uh but yeah so and continue to work on this and kind of show you guys what i'm doing stay tuned Welcome back guys. So you guys just saw me sand this back edge. That's what wasn't fitting. We kind of got this front edge pretty good. Whew. So I got this, uh, these body lines to line up perfectly front and back. So we got the door aligned and fitting in the hole. So now the part that's kind of hard from what I'm hearing is now I need to tighten all this stuff so this door stays in this position and I'm probably going to work with this center crash bar first because I hear that one really warps the door when you tighten down on it 
So I'm gonna tighten that and see if the door kind of maintains its alignment. Fingers crossed. Welcome back guys. So I would say pretty good news. Um, so I got this. So when it's sitting there closed, all the lines, this line lines up, this body line. So these body lines line up. I'm just gonna have to do some tapering and obviously do my gaps and everything. Because the gaps are snug at best. But the only thing, only issue I'm having is, and I don't have the hinge pin all the way in either. That might have something to do with it. Um, but it does shift a little bit. Which, let me try and put the hinge pins all the way in and see if that'll do it. Would you look at that? I think I got my alignment done perfectly. Well, no, it still shifts a little bit. Like it sags when you when it unlatches. So, uh, it's going to take a little bit of adjustment. Um, I'm sh sure I can tweak it. And some of you in the comments may help me out with that as well. So... But yes, I am very happy. I got one door on. I'm gonna tweak it a little bit and get it, but it's working. And feels really solid. So, yeah. The door works. Just needs a little bit of tweaking. But, um, for sure this video got extremely long so we're gonna cut this video right now i do appreciate you guys watching these videos i'm really appreciative of all the people that gave me feedback and has helped me out uh you guys are amazing um but yeah if you like this type of content we're gonna keep making it so uh hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you know when videos come out and hit that like button if you like this video and comment down below if there's anything we messed up or anything we can do better uh, please let us know down below or if you want to see something more in detail let us know i don't i have no problem pulling out the camera and showing exactly what i did all right you guys have a good one peace